What is good, geeks? I'm Jake, and I am Gen X. I'm Anna, and I'm Gen Z. We, we are, are Generational, Generational Geeks. geeks. So this week, uh, we're going to talk about a couple things. We watched some trailers that were released this week. Uh, Borderlands. Yes. We've been playing. We, last weekend, we played quite a bit of Borderlands. Um, we did three streams. The On our second, second stream one, was... it was six hours and 14 minutes long, I <laughs> Something believe. Something like that. We did an all-nighter. We are actually going to quit playing after like three hours I was kind of like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm done. And then uh, somebody that had watched us the first night popped in and wanted to play, and uh, we said okay. So shout out to uh, player 500-500. He came in. He was quite a few levels ahead of us. So He was we level 36 got... to our level 8. 12, 10. Yeah, it was eight. low. Yeah, it was. So uh, he got us some good experience. We got leveled up with... His assistance, I think, a lot quicker than we would have otherwise. And we got a lot of money in the bank because he brought some stuff with him that he didn't want. And he unlocked some uh, golden chest items with golden keys. So, yeah. So, if you like Borderlands, come check it out. I had never played before. Anna had played, I think, one time. One time through that one, yeah. Yeah. So we got. We got Borderlands 1 for like 11 bucks, so if I see 2 go on sale like that, we'll pick it up. You know, even if it's around 20 bucks, we'll pick it up, and after we're done with Borderlands 1, we'll kick off on Borderlands 2, and eventually 3. So we do have a, a little friend with us today, and it got me a Father's Day present. This a late Father's Day present. <laughs> I ordered it on time in Amazon. Decided to deliver it later. This is a limited edition first order snow trooper. And it is 1855 of 4,000 produced. And this is the first bust that I've ever had. So I like it. It's like it. they it's pretty heavy. the paint a little bit like around here or spilt something. Yeah, something. But it still looks good. Yes. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> it's well, well made, it feels like. It's hefty. And other than a little nicks here and there it's in good shape yeah. i like it I, like i said it's my first bust so i might have to check out and get some more yes i figured yeah. you'd like something different than what i have so so last week anna did a reaction video it was to a jenna marvel's video titled a message where she explains that she's going to be leaving YouTube and the reasons why. But a day after it was uploaded, it was copyright claimed by Jenna. And we did submit a dispute because we feel that it is fair game under the Fair Use Act for reaction videos with commentary. Commentary, not commentary. <laughs> And Jenna has 30 days to respond to our dispute, so we'll see where that goes. I mean, there was pausing, there was commentary, um, we had our intro there, we edited stuff. Well, and it was only the, like two and a half minutes yeah. that was copyright claimed, like right in the middle of the video. It was like nine, almost ten minutes in, and then up to like 12 minutes and 30 seconds. And it was, you know... It was a song that she had made. Yeah, and, you know, we had ble bleeped out one of the words that she had used because, you know, for our channel it was inappropriate. So we bleeped that out. I don't know if Anna paused it during that two and a half minutes, but she definitely had some commentary over Jenna's video that was playing. So And we had my face in the corner. <laughs> yeah. So we feel like, you know... It's fair use. Yes. And it's a copyright claim. Anything. It's not as bad as a copyright strike, which I didn't realize at first that there was a difference. So uh, copyright strikes, I think after three of them, your channel is pretty much gone. So luckily, it's fair use claim. Um, she has 30 days to respond, and we'll see what happens. So we're still learning a lot about making YouTube videos. Uh, we're continually working to make better content 
and we will be making more reaction videos. So look for those. In better news, I've been doing a lot of cosplaying and I've been sharing those cosplays on TikTok. Which my TikTok is melancholy dot underscore dot cosplays and it'll be in the link in the description. Um but TikTok may be banned in the US soon. We'll see though, because we've just seen it kind of floating around that it might be. India has already banned it, and I believe that Australia is next. I've seen a few things about that. Yeah, there's a lot of concern that some of the apps from China have security issues, and they're sharing your personal information. I think uh, India, I believe they banned like... 17? Yeah, almost 20 different apps that are apps from China so we'll see what happens uh, there was a trailer for the boys season two this week which comes out September 14th never watched it and I haven't seen season one I did watch season one I enjoyed season one it came out in August of last year and it ended on a pretty good cliffhanger so I kind of figured you know there would be a season two really enjoyed season one and it looks like season two is going to be more of the same uh, Anna may or may not watch it, season one. She may or may not watch season one <laughs> before season two comes out. And if she yeah, wants we, to, we I'll probably watch shows. it again. Yeah, but I'd watch The Boys season one again before season two comes out. I just watched it probably three or four months ago. We're at the tail end of a show. We just started a new one. <laughs> yeah, so... so uh, if you want to see the trailer for season two, link will be in the description. There's a trailer for Umbrella Academy season two, which will be coming out July 31st. Link in the description if you want to see the trailer. We're really looking forward to this as all three of us, my entire family and all of my friends really enjoyed the first season. Like, I don't think I've met anyone who just blatantly did not like it. So we're planning on re-watching season one before watching season two and maybe making a video on it. Yeah, if we watch, which we probably will, season one again, we'll do a review. We kind of did a, a review in one of our previous videos. It was very brief and kind of like a... Yeah, it was kind of mashed together like it, with a bunch not? of other <laughs> reviews at the same time. We're doing like a mass review in one video. So if and when we watch season one again, we'll do, and not necessarily in-depth, but a full review for season one. And we will definitely be doing a full review for season two. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one, too. In worse news... <laughs> I don't know if it's the worst news. Copyright claims probably worse than this. TikTok going away is probably worse than this. No, because... Because we can just stop this at any time. True. So... We can stop TikTok at any time. <laughs> Anna and I started watching Batwoman. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, Batwoman is part of the Arrowverse. So you got Green Arrow, whose show is just the Arrow, and The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow... Uh, Black Lightning. I think that's all of them. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. Um, I like The Flash. I watched a couple seasons Super of Girl. Supergirl. Only the first couple seasons. And so we gave Batwoman a shot. We're, I think we finished episode five. The only reason we really even started it was because Flash was having another crossover. Right. Thing. So I, I did watch the crossover, which... Included, I think, episode 9 of Batwoman. So, I figured I'd maybe give it a shot. And Anna was game. But it's just really bad. From the plot points to the acting. Especially the dialogue. It's... I don't know. Storyline is just really thin and weak. It's hard to stay focused. And we just have so many other shows and movies that are in our watch list that have... So much more potential. I don't. We actually had the opportunity. We had like an hour or two where my wife went shopping 
and we could have watched Batwoman, but we started a different series on Netflix. So, yeah, eh, we'll see. This is like more of a nitpicky thing, um, and it's not really a spoiler, but the voice they use for her when she's in the Batwoman suit sounds really, really bad. Like, it bugs me to no end for some reason. She just sounds so congested and like she has the worst cold of her life. <laughs> like, she could be talking like this, and then when she turns it on, she's like, I'm talking like this now. So. That's the least of my concerns. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. This was bad. <laughs> like I said, it was a really nitpicky thing, but it had to be said. <laughs> so, there's some other issues with the show. Shocker. As well, and it's because they've already lost their lead actor, Ruby Rose, who plays Kate Kane, and she quit the series after the first season, so yeah, no one can blame her. Uh, they brought in a new lead to play a completely new and original character, so Jafisha? I don't know how to say yeah, that. Yeah, Jafisha, I think. Well, <laughs> uh, Leslie will play Ryan Wilder. Um, who takes up the mantle of Batwoman. And there's a lot of speculation as to why Ruby Rose left, but a lot of people think it was because, um, as we know, she suffered a back injury. Yeah, I think it was back injury. Yeah, a back injury earlier in season one. and you know, Like during the filming yeah. early on. Obviously, the ratings are really bad, so yeah, I think no one can blame her. Looked on her. Rotten Tomato, I think like the user reviews were like 13. Yeah, no one can blame her. Yeah. But if we do finish the series, we will do a review rant combo afterwards. Usually, it seems like shows that we don't like, we end up reviewing and ranting about and giving spoilers. Daybreak, Cats, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. <laughs> oh, and that's another thing. Sequel oh. to Birds of Prey. Eh, not going to happen. <laughs> that yeah, that movie had a lot of potential and I wasted it all. And I'm just I'm glad they're not going to do a sequel. I'm I'm hoping that maybe they're going to learn their lesson on this and actually give us some quality content. Quality. Instead of just putting crap out there with these characters and actors that are well known. I mean, the entire reason they made it was because she was a wham and, and it's like, you don't, you can't just make a plot out of the fact she's a wham and. You need actual <laughs> plot points and you need an actual plot to drive the story forward. But there were so if many. If there was a story to drive forward, but the, I feel it like it was a one whammy. movie. <laughs> <laughs> there was multiple whammon. <laughs> and it was absolutely imperative that you knew that they were whammon. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's Anna's hot take. <laughs> <laughs> She's Wham not, and a prey. <laughs> she's not wrong, though. <laughs> Wham and one. Wham and two. Wham and three. <laughs> we ain't even made names for them. You're just gonna like them because they're whamming. <laughs> and they're in our movie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Make sure to check out our Borderlands streams. We will be live streaming this weekend. It is July 10th today, so it's Friday. We'll probably stream on Saturday and Sunday. And the new show that we start watching is instead of watching Batwoman. I am not okay with this. And I don't remember the actress's name, but the lead actress is Beverly Marsh from almost at Hotel Transylvania. What? <laughs> from the It <laughs> movies. The yeah. twenty was it seventeen? Twenty seventeen yeah, and twenty nineteen. Oh, wow. Or no, yeah, 2017 and 2019. 2017 and 2019 yeah. films. And Stanley from the 2017 and 2019 It films. And his name in the show is Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm starting to see a pattern with this actor. So far it's good. We're like halfway through. There's seven episodes. They're, I think the longest one is 28 minutes. 
But the rest of them are all like 19 or 20 minutes. It's good so far. Like, the character that Beverly plays is kind of like, ooh, teenage cringe, but like the show plays it off in, I think, a decent way. Yeah. Not in all parts, but in yeah. in a lot of parts it yeah. plays it off. Her character is kind of definitely annoying. <laughs> angsty, but she knows it at yeah. the same time. So. <laughs> the, the show is at least the a show tiny plays bit self-aware. Of that. Yeah. So, it's, so far it's good. Like I said, we're there's seven episodes. I think we just finished episode four. No. Three. Three. So, we'll do a review on that probably early next week and let you guys know how it was. With that, I am Gen X. I am Gen Z. We, are, we are Generational, Generational Geeks. Geeks.